Hey guys, so just letting you know, there's obviously been an update to uh, Google Customer Match. I got an email the other day about it and, uh, you know, it grabbed my attention. I didn't dig too much into it, but then I see other people having issues with uh, their Google Customer Match audiences getting paused or disapproved. Um, we tried creating a few for some clients. I'll show you that on this particular account right now, and we're not able to. Um, I found out a little bit why. I called Google. I also looked up their, their new policy for customer match. If you're not familiar with what customer match is, it's basically your way of uploading customer emails or mobile IDs to Google as an audience. So it's like a really powerful thing to have. And the fact that they are limiting it and the way they're limiting it seems, you know, kind of sucks. So let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about, what's happening as far as if you try to create these accounts or these uh, audiences and what's going on. So if I just pop into my audience manager in this particular account. All right, so here we are. So I see you got a bunch of audiences here. If I hit plus customer list, this is where you go to create a new uh, custom match audience. You'll see this message if you're not eligible. Right now, it seems like a lot of people are not eligible. Um, I talked to Google Rep a few minutes ago again, and he told me that they're like two or three weeks out from opening this up again and they're not sure exactly what I guess businesses are going to be allowed to use it for those who are not allowed to use it they're going to get some notification on on what they need to do to be eligible but if you look right here where it says learn more when I clicked on this yesterday there was actually no data um, here it is again same same error I actually saw it earlier today when I was preparing for this video but let me try it one more time see if I have better luck no okay so We'll view the article in the Help Center real quick. Give me just a second here. Yeah, this happened yesterday too. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to find the article. So just one second. All right, so I found it. Uh, in order for you to find this particular article or particular um, requirements, you could just do a search for customer match, new restrictions in Google, and it'll be like the first result. Uh, there's a couple of different help articles on customer match, so they don't always go over this. I had to like, find this particular one. But if you look right here, uh, customer match, so requirements using customer match, these are the new ones. They're going to get more detailed, I guess, after a few weeks from what I've been told. Is you have to have these four items, which is actually going to be five. Good history of policy compliance. Okay, that's a given. Good payment history. Obviously, that's a given. At least 90 days history in Google Ads. So for new accounts, this is not going to work as well right out of the gate and more than 50,000 uh, US dollars lifetime spent. That's going to be a big one. So if you've got a client spending a thousand or two thousand dollars a month, if this rule doesn't change, you're probably going to have a while before you can use this. So they're really ta tailoring this to advertisers who are really spending money. Um, the other thing is, which it doesn't say in this list, uh, you'll need to contact your right here your assigned account manager. And it says right here, uh, where is it? Oh, if you've never used customer match <clears throat> and you don't have an assigned account manager, your account's currently ineligible. So you need to be dealing with your account manager. For a lot of you guys, you don't really talk to Google very often. And for a lot of the lower, smaller accounts, you really don't get a dedicated account manager. For the larger accounts that we manage, then we, we, we get them, you know, they call us up. Uh, lately, there's been a really big push, if you guys haven't noticed, for Google calling you and trying to schedule appointments and things like that. Sorry. Um, so I don't know if they're trying to... Sorry, guys. I don't know if they're trying to... <laughs> sorry, I'm decline. Uh, if they're trying to actually uh, get people hooked up with them, and that's part of the reason why uh, they're making the big push. I know they're also trying to indoctrinate you with having more than two ads in an ad group, things like that. that was, that's been going on for a while, though. So anyway, this is what's going on with Customer Match. Really powerful when you have a chance to use it. Looks like we may not have a chance to use it for a lot of smaller clients, a lot of smaller accounts. This may also affect if you're buying data or buying customer lists to use. You know, Maybe it's not your own data and you think you're going to get off the ground using that. You know, This could be a, another roadblock here. So hopefully we'll get some more news in a couple of weeks. And once I get it, um, I'll, I'll put another video out to explain what I found. You know, if you know how Google is, it may not be 100% accurate, but I'll share whatever I found out with you guys, and then um, hopefully it'll be good news. So just want to let you guys know, uh, customer match right now, it's down for the count, and uh, we'll see where it goes next. So thanks for watching.